Hello, in one of the videos I made this DC generator. But due to the small distance between the rotor core and the stator magnet, a large magnetic resistance has been created, which makes the rotor hard to rotate. Of course, the short distance will increase the power of the generator, but because I want to activate it with a steam turbine, I have to change the rotor. So I will open it and design its rotor with a smaller diameter, of course, the output power will be 100% less. Those who haven't seen that video, watch the summary of stator construction now. You can see that the distance between the rotor core and the stator magnet is very small. And this short distance will cause magnetic friction and therefore the rotation of the rotor will be difficult. I take out the core. There are 16 arc-shaped magnets inside the stator that you can see. Now I want to use another rotor. I want to turn this iron pipe into a rotor. In this case, there is a greater distance from the stator magnet, and instead the coils are closer to the stator magnets. Of course, in this case, we will have the problem of Foucault current, or eddy current. Now I will cut the tube to the length of the previous rotor. Well, the pipe was cut to the right size. Now we have two ways, either to cut the two ends of the pipe in the form of teeth, or to weld some iron wires on it. I choose the second method, which is easier, and you can use iron hanger or welding wire to prepare iron wire. I consider the iron wires to be 2 cm extra on both sides, and you can consider 3 cm for ease of work. Now the wire should be placed on the iron pipe like this.
To divide the iron pipe, I will use an isolated washer of the previous rotor section and put it on the pipe cross section and mark it. The number of grooves for winding is 20. The iron wire should be welded on the pipe like this. Now I use motor winding insulation varnish to insulate the rotor body. We allow it to dry for 2 to 3 hours. Now the varnish is dry and we check it with an ohmmeter. And now it's time to install the commutator and it should be placed in the right place.
Now it's time for the coil, I use 0.4mm wire and wrap each loop 100 turns. Due to the size of the arc shaped magnet, the distance between the coils should be 5 iron wires. Now I need to wind the next row and so on until the end. In order not to mistake the iron wires, you can use a marker and mark the iron wires. The last row of winding is finished and the end wire should be connected to the beginning wire and placed in the commutator bars. Now we test with an ohmmeter that the commutator should not have any connection with the rotor body. In order for the coils not to change their shape during rotation, I tie them around with a tight thread. Be sure to check that the commutator connections are correct because otherwise it will have a negative effect on the output voltage.
At 800 RPM, the voltage is 25 volts. And in 2500 RPM mode, the voltage is 50 volts. The obtained voltage is not very interesting, although the rotor rotates more easily. It remains to be seen what will happen if it is connected to a steam turbine. Goodbye for now until the next program.